गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरीबडी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी वन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक इन हैकेथॉन विच इज क्रिएटिंग ए डेटा एक्सट्रैक्शन सिस्टम इन एक्सेल हाउ टू क्रिएट ए डेटा एक्सट्रैक्शन सिस्टम इन एक्सेल बिफोर बिगिनिंग इन टू द प्रैक्टिकल पार्ट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट दैट वेर वी कैन यूज दिस डेटा एक्सट्रैक्शन सिस्टम हाउ कैन वी यूज दिस वी विल लर्न इन द लेटर स्टेज data extraction is basically the common task that is used while working on the data be it be any type of data employee data regional sales data e-commerce data even any large data where the data is used and we have to extract data based upon some conditions now there are many things in excel which is used to extract the data be it be filters be it be advanced filters be it be pivot table be it be normally using the formulas so today we are going to create a system and that system will automatically work because we understand that system works people fail now today we are going to create a system in which it would be automatically extracted based upon some condition and we are going to do lots of things and we are going to take an example of employee data basic employee data so to use this we are going to use some systems obviously it would be microsoft excel but under microsoft excel we are going to use n number of things we are going to use dynamic arrays this is very important dynamic arrays is initiated or started in 2019 apart from this we are going to use basic formulas we are going to use the concept of excel table we are going to use conditional formatting custom fonts and the some small sweet flavor of vba because without vba excel is nothing and similarly without excel vba is nothing so we are going to use the combination of each and everything that is the part of this data extraction system in excel now let us understand the implementation part the practical part that what is basically dynamic arrays because all other things we have heard but i am not sure that you have heard about this dynamic arrays or not and there are n number of dynamic arrays in excel but today we are going to understand these three important dynamic arrays filter unique sort and this dynamic arrays has started from 2019 version so let us close this first and let us start with this one which is the introduction to dynamic arrays so first we will understand these three functions that how these functions are going to work in excel and what is the awesome features of this now this is my employee data i want to extract the data into this range based upon a condition and the condition is that i wanted to get the data for this finance department let us say finance department data i wanted to get it here now if you are using formulas in excel so there could be n number of array formulas the complex array formulas but the beauty of this dynamic array is that it performs each and everything so equals to filter this one now this is showing array what is array array is the data range so i'm going to select the entire data range like this this is the data range that i am going to select and i am not going to fix anything because this is the beauty of dynamic arrays we are not going to fix anything i'll just select this range comma include means the condition and the condition is that department this department should be equals to this department i'll not go to fix anything i'll not apply dollar now bracket close and let us press enter and see the magic done now this is giving me the data for finance let us see the data for sales see i have not dragged the formula i have not copy pasted the formula i have not applied the this dollar but the data is coming because this is the beauty of dynamic arrays apply the formulas into the first cell and based upon this formula everything is getting populated see this is the grayed out but based upon this condition it's automatically getting the data and this is known as dynamic arrays this is the calculation engine the new calculation engine that is introduced in 2019 version i am going to show more examples let us say quality so it's automatically working let us say finance automatically working now let us move into the next function which is unique we have the same data these are the id name department and designation now i just wanted to get a list of unique department and just select the department now this is giving me the list of unique department similarly 
we can go with this one equals to unique and i'll go with this one select now this is giving me the unique designation and this is also a dynamic array see whenever i'm going to click on this one now it's showing some blue border so this is showing that the data is till this range so it's including all the sales that is created with this dynamic now the interesting one is the sort function now this is my data we have to sort the data in alphabetical order a to z order so equals to sort bracket close enter now this is giving me the list of data in a sorted order it's a to z order we can also use this one sort index it's not required sort order descending so this is giving me the descending order sort index and everything will work when we have a multiple columns now i am going to sort the data based upon single column and these functions as i said that these are basically the part of new calculation engine which is in 2019 version so if you are using 2013 2016 these functions are not available from 2019 these are available let us close this file and let us understand how to create the data extraction system i'm going to close this one this is my file which is having this employee data now based upon this data i just wanted to create a data extraction system this is going to work dynamically let us see so the first thing that i wanted to do is just a create a replica of this data sheet so i'll press control and we can drag this one so it will create a new sheet the same sheet or you can simply copy paste let us name it as report and let us bring into this the first one now what i'm going to do let us insert few columns, few rows in the beginning. So this is my data that is being fetched from that one. So I'll just remove everything because I don't want this. One. I'll remove everything. Now what I'll do, I'll just write current. So let us make it as Tahoma. I'm going to design this template first. So current department, this is Tahoma. Let us merge this. Now this is my department. So what I'll do? I'll just color this one with, let us say this, this one, and I'm going to use light gray like this. Let us make it some alignment. Uh, this is center, vertical center alignment and this one. So that if I'm going to write finance or something, so it like this. Now let us go with this Tahoma and let us make it as 10. Now let us create the headers in the last hackathon we have seen that how to create the 3d headers so similarly we can use like this control one i'll go with this fill fill effects let us go with this one first and this one second let us design this template now let us integrate this with the dynamic array so what i wanted to do as of now i just wanted to type anything any department based upon this department i wanted to get the data so for that, what I have to do, I'll just make this table or make this range a dynamic table because when the data increases or decreases, this report should be automatically updated. So for this, I am going to do control T. Control T stands for create table. Now I'm going to click OK. Now, as soon as I do control T, it's going to change the format and everything, but I don't want to change the format. So for that, I'll go with this table design. I'll just click on this one and I'll just go with none. So I'm not going to format anything, but this is a table. Now let us name this table as a data. Now let us see the next step. So let us integrate this with the dynamic arrays. So what I'm going to do equals to filter array is this one. So it's showing the name of the table that we have created, which is the data comma. The condition is that this column, the department column, data department this is the use of this excel table now this parameter is dynamically picking the columns equals to this one now we can remove this sheet name because in the current sheet sheet name is not required bracket close enter now this is giving me the data for finance as we have seen in the last example also sales okay now this is the first part that we have done right now what i wanted to do i wanted to basically create a unique department list let us see how to integrate this one there are multiple steps so i'll go with this control c control v now i wanted to pick a 
unique department. So equals to unique and I'll go with this one and I'll select the department column. Back it close. Now this is giving me the unique list of departments. Now I wanted to sort the data also. So I can use this sort option, sort with unique. Now it will give me the sorted data based upon this A to Z order. Now, whenever any department changes, let us suppose I am going to add a new department here. Let's say future enhance, future enhance, enter. Now it will dynamically update here. It's showing future enhance. Means whenever the data increases, decreases, updated, it would be automatically reflected into this area. Control Z. Automatically it will work. Now let us change the font or we can see, we can let's select the maximum areas and we can change the font to the Homa. I am keeping everything as the Homa and the font size is 10. Let us go with this one slightly. Now I'll just write show. I'm going to integrate the feature of interactivity or we can say that the mouse movement feature with this one. Whenever I move my mouse into this one, so it will automatically show the data into this side. So I'm going to add something like this. Now, what I'm going to do, let us create another table here, which is the department list. Now, what I wanted to do, I wanted to get the list of all the designations, which is there in sales department, means the current department. I'll just take this one. Let's say designation. I wanted to create a dynamic report based upon the different features. Let us see designation and equals to I wanted to get the unique list from this one, not the from the source table from the destination table that I have created right now array. I'll select the designation till end. I'll select the entire date. It will give me the unique list and it will give me the zero because I have selected the entire data. The rest of the data is zero. So that's the reason it's giving me the unique list. No issue. We'll take care for this later on and I'll just use sort here also bracket close enter now this is sorting the data let us change the format to the homa 10 now uh, what i wanted to get i wanted to get the count of these designations so equals to count if range is the designation column till end i'll fix the data here comma this is my current designation so it will give me the count of all the designations, including the zero also. Now this is showing count. So I'll just write count here, select this entire data and let us increase the range, go with Homa 10 and vertically center align in the middle. I'll go with it slightly in the right side alignment and this is in the center. Let us go with this one. So I have created a report like this. Now we will work on the dynamic borders also. Later on, we are going to add the dynamic borders and we are going to use some few, few basic things. So let us move further. Now, as of now, what we have done, we have created a filter. We have created a unique department and we have created a unique designation. Let us increase, slightly increase this, slightly decrease this one. Now what we can do, we can just change the layout of this one. Fill effects. Let us go with this one, blue, this one and this one click OK. This is the blue one. Let us change the look and feel of this also because these three tables are different tables. Now I will go with this, this one or we can go with this one. Now the next task is to create a dynamic borders of this one. First we are going to create a dynamic borders here because these borders are there. I don't want to get these borders if the data is not there. I just wanted to remove borders from all the blank cells or you can say that I wanted to apply the borders where only the data is there. So what I'll do, first of all, I'll remove the entire border from this one, entire border. I'll go with this, no border. Now I just wanted to apply the border where there is a data in this ID column. If the data is not there, means the border is not there, simple. So Alt O D new rule, I'm going to use conditional formatting, use a formula equals to this one. I'll fix the column is not equals to blank. If this is not equals to blanks, means the border should be applied. Format, I'll go with this, the third one, the soft one, and let us use this. Simple. Click OK. Click OK. Click OK. Now this is applying the border till the data is there. Let us go with this quality. Enter. Now this is showing the quality data and the border is still where the data ends. Now we can go with this finance 
now this is the data that i am getting right now now this is the dynamic border that we have applied let us change quality now this is giving me the quality data and this is showing the borders and everything now you have checked that this is showing zero if i am going to click on finance now this is showing something but the data is not there what we have to do we have to just use the formula or drag the formula up to the maximum levels now this is showing zero why if this is not equals to blank then use the counting bracket close enter now let us drag this formula now this is showing false else we can see blank so this is giving me the data like this so let us go with this quality account sales finance right so i have used if function to check whether the day if the data is there into this cell then only apply the counting else apply the blank so it's giving me the zero and it's giving me the blank into this one what we can do let us apply this zero here instead of blank what we can do we can use zero and later on we will remove the zero part also now this is giving me this data or we can apply the blank both are same let us apply the blank as we did earlier now let us use the dynamic borders here what i wanted to do if the data is there then use the border else do not use the border so i wanted to check that if this value if this column is not equals to zero then apply the border so what else do i select alt o d new rule use a formula equals to this column i'll fix the column is not equals to zero format i'll use the same pattern this this okay 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 now this is giving me the border it's not going to hide this zero i am going to show you how to hide this zero but now this is giving me the border let us check for sales awesome this is giving me the border let us check for quality this is giving me the border now what we have to do we have to remove this zero so i'll select everything alt o d again i'll create a new rule use a formula equals to this value and we will not fix anything is equals to zero if this value is equals to zero then change the font color to white simple click okay click okay click okay done now the zero is not there let us go for sales awesome let us go for finance awesome let us go for quality now this is giving me the dynamic count of each designations from this department table now i just wanted to create a arrow and if i am going to move my mouse into this arrow it will automatically update everything for that i am going to create a vba function let us see so right click view code i'll go with this insert and module simple now i am going to create a function as we use a function in excel like v lookup h lookup so i'm going to create a basic function function let us say current department very simple function and i'm going to take an input from a user let us taking an input x now what i'll do i'll just update this department the department that is going to passed by this function to this area which is g3 so worksheets report dot range g3 is equals to x the simple function that i have passed means if anything that is passed in this one it would be automatically moved into the range z3 means if i am going to pass finance so this finance would automatically update it into this z3 let us close this one now what i wanted to do i wanted to use another function because in excel we have seen that how to join multiple functions similarly there is no any function in excel to basically send the data so that's the reason i have created a function current department where we can say that x as string where user will pass anything finance quality sales we are going to update g3 range of this report sheet with the data that have been passed by the this function let us see so equals to i'll go with this hyperlink function why hyperlink because hyperlink function is the function where 
we just place our mouse into that one it would be automatically working so inside hyperlink function we are going to use current department now in the current department i am going to select this one b6 because this is the department that i wanted to update click on this now let us drag this now let us see the magic right now say if i am going to just place my cursor not even selecting it's automatically updating the data and this is really awesome i am going to improve this but if i am going to just place my mouse cursor or place my cursor here it's automatically updating i have used current department function inside hyperlink function now i am going to use this hyperlink with the functions that i created right now simple now let us just change the value to some arrow and what i wanted to do i have just wanted to just remove this one remove the value or remove the values from the blank cells so let us increase the data first so that if anything goes on changes so it would automatically update now what i am going to do i'll just use if this is not equals to blank then hyperlink else blank now it's showing the blank or it's showing the values see now the data that i am getting is only for this department so it's not showing the extra rows that we have been creating so it is taking care by the if function i'll go with this webdings font in webding four stands for the arrow i'll go with this one select the webdings now under webdings if i'm going to use this if error if this is the error then change to four and four stands for arrow in webdings simple these are the arrow now let us customize this first we are going to use this one underline i am going to remove and let us in change the font to black right now now this is what i am getting right now this one what i have done simply i have done if error to replace the value error and if function to check whether this is blank or not if this is not blank then only use this hyperlink function and this is the blank just keep this as blank and for y4 four stands for arrow in webdings i am going to show you let us open a new file i am going to show webdings and write four here four stands for right arrow five stands for up arrow six stands for down arrow simply so i have used this logic into our this one so it's showing four four for the right arrow now let us use the dynamic borders here what i am going to do first of all let us change the font to the homa so let us go with this one change the font of this to webdings and let us change to 10 now i'll go to this one and change the font to tahoma and slightly into the right side now let us work on the dynamic borders so i'm going to select the data alt o d new rule use a formula equals to this fix the column not equals to blank if this is not equals to blank then the form wider it's the border the third one which i am taking and select on this one outline right. click okay click okay click okay simply now this is showing the data now the final thing that i wanted to do let us decrease the width of this one now what i wanted to do if i am going to select the data if i am going to place my cursor into this one it should automatically highlight so i am going to use the conditional formatting again new rule equals to this value if this value is equals to this one at a time only one of the values or one of the departments should be equals to this one so just go to this fill you can use this fill effects just use this one use this one simple click okay click okay click okay click okay awesome now let us see so this is what we have created today this is the dynamic data extraction system and let us check if any department is being added here suppose i am going to add a data i am going to add a data which is 786 the name is vivekananda sinha department let us suppose future in hands designation let us suppose executive and date of joining is today let us try this out report this future in hands is coming right now let us move my cursor here awesome so this is the data for future in hands and designation is only one executive data is there later on what i can do i'll just remove 
the final stage or the final step that we can do is we can go to view tab we can remove the headers part also this one two three four abcd i can remove this one so this is going awesome now whenever the data is being changed or added or deleted in this one this report will automatically work on this one so as i have used the vba part what you have to do, you have to just save as macro enabled workbook, not the simple Excel workbook. So let us close the session. Have a great day. Thank you.